We're now joined by two of the amazing guys from the band The 100. So hello guys, welcome. Hello, how are you? I'm really good, mate. How are you? Yeah, not bad, man. Not bad. Awesome. A bit tired, actually. A little bit tired. Tired and surely some excitement. Let's kick straight yeah, off and say... Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I just I just fell asleep in the van, didn't we? It was, yeah. it was like, a, for some reason, we don't even live that far out. But the journey was well long for some reason. I think it was just a bad, bad music choice. Oh, what, what was playing on the way? I don't know, Tim had it on shuffle, but I wasn't feeling any of it. No. All right, so I popped to my iPod. You know what I mean? Just get my own tunes going, I had a little party. It's, that's all good. Fair enough. And it's quite a busy time for you at the moment, because not only have you got this going on, but uh, is it tomorrow yeah, you tomorrow. start with Papa Roach? Yeah, tomorrow Papa Roach. I'm stoked. I like, it's still ridiculous when you think about it. Isn't it, it is, like, yeah. I mean, we're, it's quite daunting, like, looking at the, some of the, the size of some of the venues that we're going to be playing. But I think, like, once we sort of get into the swing of it, I'm sure it'd be, I'm sure it'd be fine. Like, yeah, yeah, should be good. I'm excited. What's the biggest venue that you're going to be playing at? I know. Uh, the Roundhouse. Is it Roundhouse? London. Yeah, yeah. three thousand cap. It's something ridiculous like that. I think the most we played in front of was like 300, 300, <laughs> maybe maybe 400. So yeah, 3,000 is just going to be like proper Jesus Christ. That is, that's going to be a moment and a half. As I'm going to stand there, I reckon the spotlight's going to come down on me. I'm going to drop the microphone. <laughs> Just You're going to hear that awkward silence, like tumbleweeds just going to come out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> How did that come about, performing with Papa Roach? Um, it was actually really weird. I, actually, I, was, I had like an interview with him. I went down for Metal Hammer and it was me interviewing him about just everything they've been up to and it was like a masterclass kind of thing. And my last question was, can we go on tour with you? Like, because you're coming over in February, like February, March, because I knew they were coming over. And he was like, oh yeah, man, hit me up with an email. So I like emailed him and everything. And then he replies. And then he was like, who's your booking agent? Nah, blah, blah, blah. And then within about a month, it was like, yeah, you guys have been confirmed. And we were like, oh my God, really? So it's, I mean, it's lucky. I mean, but yeah, took the ball by the horns, went with it. Very much right place, right time. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly that. But you know, what an opportunity. How many, how many dates are you actually playing with them? I think it's 10 altogether because we're doing the island dates as well. Like, so I think it's, it like 40, it's like 14 days, 10 dates. So yeah, a little under a week. Yeah. That's cool. And of course you come back to Southampton this Wednesday, yeah. Guildhall. Yes. Guildhall. Yeah, yeah, is that a good venue? Have you, been, have you never been no, there before? Never been. Really, really good venue. Yeah. And it is quite a daunting place, quite big as well. So start, is that the sort of first one? But when you come here to Southampton, oh, it is a big one. So no pressure, slightly more than 300 people in there. <laughs> But I'm actually like well like nervous because when we got when we got the shows I like typed in on Google I was like oh, what do they look like and I was like Jesus Christ look at the size of it I was just oh <laughs> man I actually got nervous I was like five looking just double check when you're just googling you're looking at the size of venues yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yes yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just to clarify I was looking at the size of venues I was I was googling email like the yeah. the venues and stuff yeah. yeah. Come on. Uh, one of the times I was at uh, Guildhall, there's a, a fun, interesting fact about this. Uh, a fan jumped up on stage and tried to punch Russell Brand in the face. Really? So, yeah, they rowdy lot we've got here in Southampton. Nice. So, uh, wait for that, yeah. <laughs> if it, I, I'm not a fighter like, at no. all. No, like, I reckon I'd cry. I'd proper run out of the way. I'd hide behind Phil. He's got a base so he can hit him. <laughs> Speaking of fighting, stuff like that, uh, I noticed in one of your press shots, actually, Stone Cold T-shirt. Is that you wearing it? Are you, uh, are you a big wrestling fan? I'm a massive wrestling fan, yeah. yeah. So, very quickly, I'm just curious now. So, um, WrestleMania, of course, coming up, uh, end of this month. Bray Wyatt. <laughs> Bray Wyatt, yes. Is that a big Bray Wyatt fan? I am. I'm, I used to like, I loved wrestling back in 2001, like, from when I was about 8 to 15. Now, I think it's just, they need to... Get rid of Vince, I think. <laughs> I think the, the story writing's boring. I think, I don't know. Just I, I like Brock Lesnar just because he's just an absolute animal. Absolute beast. Like, everyone's like, I want to take her. Like, yeah, he's past it. He's about 80. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let Lesnar kill everyone. Like, he's proved it in, in UFC. Just do yeah. it. <laughs> Eat, sleep, suplex, repeat, and all that sort of thing. He's got a T-shirt. Some kid started on him at download. He was like, why are you wearing that? Mate? He's like, chill out. It's just the T-shirt. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, just quick prediction. So you think Bray Wyatt's going to beat Undertaker or...? I, I don't know. I, I think that if they make Undertaker win, I think it's going to be more awkward for the fact that he's just come back to lose again. I think if he... It's, it's a, it's a non-match. It's, yeah, it's, it's the sort of it match that should have happened last year. Yeah. And then he should have gone against Lesnar this year. Yeah. And because Lesnar if, 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 if Wyatt year. wins, everyone's going to go, right, they brought him back to lose two fights. So now the Lesnar one doesn't really count as, as better as it did. Mm. And then if he wins, you're going to go, well, they brought him back even though well, he lost yeah, last year, what's have... the point? Like, I don't know, I'm kind of in two minds of it. Exactly. So. exactly. It's a weird one, isn't it? It's a, and a bit frustrating to, to, to see. Yeah. Just being a wrestling fan in general is quite frustrating just at the moment. Just coming out again, F5 him. <laughs> yeah. Straight away, just bang, straight away, end bang. the match. Yeah. Yeah. Being, being a wrestling fan is like the most frustrating thing ever because yeah. they, it's like they do one thing amazing and then they just take two sets back like exactly. straight away. It's just like, well... Royal Rumble, perfect example. Oh, perfect mate. Example. But uh, I could talk about wrestling all day. We probably should go, yeah. go, back, yeah. to, go back to music. Go back. Okay, then, so download to... Uh, not that download. 
Don't, no, uh, well, well, take down, that's where we are yeah, right yeah. now, take down festival. Um, so you're on a bit later. Yeah. Um, what have you been doing since, oh, you just arrived, haven't you? Yeah, we've uh, we just arrived, uh, but we've, you know, we're, we're in the spirit of things. I need to I need to wake up a bit to be honest. Yeah, I think I need I think to kind of like, like go out and check out some go of the out, bands. Check some music, go um, see some mates. We've got some mates playing today. So yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah. We're gonna go chill out, good vibes. Talking about waking up, I don't know if you've realised, but this whole room is pretty much sponsored by Relentless. Yeah. Free t shirts, free hats, and we got some free relentless. Oh mate, I was gonna say, do we get do we get to take that? Oh, yeah. You can take us, yeah, yeah, go get, grab some. I might take some and then lie and say we've been indoors. <laughs> get, get them for the van, mate. Yeah, but we've been indoors, we've got one can each. <laughs> Probably get away with taking a whole crate to be fair. Mate, <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, why not? I'll blame it on you though, if yeah, it all can do. It's fine. And, Callum told me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll blame it on him because his name's also Callum. Callum. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then when you come off stage, what are the plans? Do you got to go straight away because obviously you're performing tomorrow, or yeah. are you just chilling around for a little um, bit? I might I've stay for a few minutes, maybe. I don't know what time is it closed because I know that. It's an after party. Oh, is there? Yeah, so. Open until three o'clock in the morning. So I don't drink. I'm quite boring. He's the most unrock -rock, rock star, un unrock and roll frontman. Yeah. You'll ever meet in your life. Yeah. I'm not like straight edge like CM Punk, yeah. but I'm. Yeah. I had to put the wrestling coat in, like that. Yeah. I, had to, I had to make it a reference. wrestling fans, though. So, you know, all you CM Punk fans out there. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see We'll see where life takes us, Philip. Yeah. We'll follow the journey. See where, see where you feel. Like you never know. There. You know what I mean? We could get off stage and it could be like, bang, let's just... Get on Let's it. just get on it. Yeah. I don't even drink. I'd sniff a wine gum and I'd be drunk. So I'd be like, doesn't doesn't bother me. I'll get a tenner kebab home, uh, taxi. Cheap night out, mate. Cheap Love it. Out. Exactly. Yeah, it must be for you. I mean, yeah, yeah. So, great. It's all good. So, so I'm, I'm good of it. I'm awesome. It. And something that we've been asking everyone, obviously, because it's coming up to the summer festival season, yeah. Papa Roach, of course. Yeah. Then it's pretty much you're good to go. Festivals are sort of yeah, right on yeah. the doorstep. Yeah. What's your plan for this summer? We've got quite a lot of festivals coming up, which is quite cool. So we've got Download. So we play Download. I've uh, got a couple more offers. I don't know if they've been like 100% finalised, so I won't mention it. But yeah, if it all comes to plan, yeah. it'll be absolutely Download incredible. for me is like right up there. It's like one of the festivals, main festivals I've ever wanted to play. Like it's going to be ridiculous. And we are technically opening for Slipknot as well. So, yeah. you know. <laughs> we are open for set not. So no, no pressure. No pressure. But we're we not, are. but in our heads we are. We're in our heads. I mean, we we're playing the same three, day as him, so that's obviously. The same day. We might be three stages down, but yeah, we matter. are opening for him. Opening. So. We, are, we are opening for Slipknot. But if Fact. you believe it, it will happen. Hashtag it's yeah. happening. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hashtag. Yeah. What's the hashtag? <laughs> hashtag 100 for Slipknot or something like that. Hashtag 100 will support Slipknot <laughs> <laughs> on their world tour next year. It's, 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 it's in the way. It's not catching up. But it's, yeah, it's not catching up, but we'll we'll finalise it and we'll, you know. Well, technically, all you've <laughs> got... Get, get 100 to the top. <laughs> technically, all you've got to do is ask them. Just, when you sit, just pass them, pass them backstage. Just be like, oh, by the way, can I, can I open up? Can I, yeah. can, I, can I come on tour with you next yeah. year? And I'll be like, oi, Taylor, this is the real deal, mate. <laughs> Make it happen. You know what I mean, mate? Let's, let's talk. Like, like friends would, you know, yeah. sorted. I'd be on Bebo. <laughs> <laughs> Bebo, oh my, do you know what, do you remember how you... Have you got Snapchat? <laughs> Have you got Snapchat? I Snapchat a picture of me to you. Oh. Bebo, I was, I, does anyone else sort of log into their Bebo just every now and then just to see what I you were like? I, 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 I never had Bebo, be, so. I never had Bebo, I was, I was straight to MySpace, but I was MSN. Right, MSN. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, lo lo MSN love, love her with your girlfriend's name, football, great goal. Like Rooney and when it, lyrics, every every letter would be like a sort of an emotion. So yeah. by the end of it, you were writing, and you're and like, you, "So what?" Your name would be like the lyrics of a song, and everyone would go, "You're right." <laughs> yeah. And you're like, "Nah, it's just a lyric of a song, man." Wow. And you'd never show what you're listening to, just in case like a bad song came up, and everyone judged you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, guys, it's been amazing. We've talked wrestling, music, and MSN, Bebo stuff like that. Brilliant. Great interview, guys. Much. Enjoy your time here at the festival. Much. Good luck on tour with Papa Roach, Thank you very much, my friend. and uh, enjoy WrestleMania as well, guys. You've yeah. been amazing. Yeah. Awesome. So. Uh, Thank you. Have a good day. Cheers. Cheers.